as I wanted to study medicine in Germany and didn't have the best A-levels Abitur and I didn't want to go through a three-year training program, I had to look for alternatives which ultimately got me into med school. Hi, I'm Felix, the happy one, and I'm a first-year medical student from Germany. In this video, I will show you the next four ways of how to get into German med school. As I just mentioned, this is video two of a three-part series about just this topic. If you want to learn more about the German application process and how to study medicine in Germany, consider subscribing and leaving a like for the YouTube algorithm. This motivates me to provide value to you in the form of new weekly videos. Since last week's video was more about the conventional ways to get admitted at German med schools, we are get much more exotic this week. Let's get right into it. Okay, this week we'll start off with the lateral entry. I don't know if you already knew about that, but if you study biology or chemistry or some other science, there is a possibility that you can transfer your studies to medicine. Although you might think that this process is best to be started right at the beginning of your study, this is not true. You will have to successfully finish a couple of semesters of biology or chemistry or whatever you're studying before applying. The only downside to this is that it's a case-to-case -case decision every time. The school will look at the circumstances and your grades and how you're performing in your field of study you're in right now to determine whether they can or they should transfer you to another faculty. And since this is such a rarely taken round, there is no guarantee at all. I would only advise you to do or to try this if you are already happy with your original field of study. I put a link into the video description giving more insights about how or when such a transfer might be possible. If you're interested in the lateral entry, definitely check it out. However, your ease of application is reasonably high because it's much easier to get into biology than into medicine without any further qualifications. But unfortunately, the chances of admission are quite low because the university needs to look at every individual case and decide whether they want to agree to this transfer. My advice is just take this route if you are already happy with your original field of study. Okay, secondly, we have the lengthy way, the German military. This is an option for the more adventurous people amongst us, because you will not only go through medical, but also military training. The military, or the Bundeswehr, how we call it in Germany, will offer you a highly regarded and a highly paid training program, which will challenge you mentally and physically. The price you pay for this extensive training program is the readiness to go on to deployment any time for the next 17 years. The military will also decide which residency you will go into or which one they need right now. But the ease of application is quite high because the number of applicants which are willing to commit to 17 years working at the Bundeswehr is quite low. But on the other hand, there are more people willing to commit their lives to the army than you think in Germany. And this is why you have great competition nowadays and it's getting harder and harder to get into the unis from German military. Talking of studying medicine in Germany with being tied to something, there is the Landarztquote. This is a pretty common way taken in Germany by young aspiring doctors. The theory is that states like North Rhine-Westphalia, Nordrhein-Westfalen, Brandenburg or Sachsen-Anhalt, they have too few general practitioners in the rural areas. In order to fight this shortness, the state offers a bonus in form of a separated, much more candidate or applicant focused application procedure, where we'll talk about the interviewee and his motivation why he wants to go into the, the medical field. The price of this special treatment is 10 years of working as a doctor in the rural areas of Germany. Your ease of application is reasonably high, but it's not your free ticket into German med school. And your chance of admission are again much higher, but not guaranteed. This also depends on the state where you are applying in. And the fourth one of today is another very interesting option, studying in the Netherlands. And I know what you're trying to say here, hey Felix, the video is about studying medicine in Germany, I know that, but hear me out. The Netherlands have eight universities where you can study Geneskunde. 
even as a German citizen. However, they do have tuition fees of 2000 euros a year, not a semester. But since the application criteria and the application process is so much different to the German version, I would highly recommend that you check it out. However, the only problem might be that some schools require you to have all the sciences, biology, physics, chemistry and mathematics as courses until the graduation. But apart from the sciences, I think there are no real disadvantages to studying in the Netherlands. If you want to learn more about this, leave a like on this video and I will make a video about this specific topic anytime soon. However, I hope you got something from this video that might work for you. If not, please subscribe to this channel, leave a like and next week I will upload part 3 of the 3 part series of how to get into German med school. If you want me to make a video about a very specific topic, definitely put your question into the comments and I will answer them as soon as possible. Thanks for standing me, until next time.